The scariest part about being diagnosed with peripheral T-cell lymphoma is the fact that for majority of patients, families, physicians, caregivers, it is invisible. It is a rare disease. Lymphomas in general are tumors of the immune system. So they are tumors of the lymph nodes and immune cells that live outside the lymph nodes. They can be divided into B-cell lymphomas and T-cell lymphomas because we have two types of immune cells, T-cells and B-cells. And they collaborate in the process of fighting infection. And because any cell can become cancerous, they can be of T-cell variety and B-cell variety, so we recognize those two subtypes of lymph node cancer. By and large, T-cell lymphomas are very rare. In the United States, every year we diagnose approximately six to 8,000 patients with peripheral T-cell lymphomas, all the subtypes taken together. And this compares to over 60,000 patients with B-cell lymphomas. This compares to hundreds of thousand patients diagnosed with, say, breast cancer or lung cancer. That gives you the idea how rare these lymphomas are. When they're diagnosed with real lymphomas and they start looking into finding information about the disease, about the diagnosis, about the treatments, there's really not much out there. So we felt that education of patients is really lacking in this area. Patients diagnosed with T-cell lymphomas are certainly an advantage if the diagnosis happens at academic centers. And the reason for that is the rarity of T-cell lymphomas and the fact that in a community, oncologists see much more patients with breast cancer and lung cancer, much more patients with certain type of leukemias, and certainly more patients with B-cell lymphomas. And maybe one patient a year, two patients a year with T-cell lymphomas. Now with collaboration with a lot of centers in the country and our European colleagues and Japanese colleagues, we created a consortium of academic centers that is focused on T-cell lymphoma. So we always advocate that patients diagnosed in rural areas or in a community at least ask their physicians about possibility of being referred to academic center to construct the management plan, uh, look at the risks of this lymphoma, potentially talk about clinical trials, and we do believe that this really changes the prognosis for these patients and whether or not uh, the frontline treatments or subsequent treatments are more efficacious and it might make a big difference for a particular person.